Everybody, welcome back to the Greens Experience. Today, we're going to be sharing with you episode or part two of yes. the framing episode where we go over all of the work that's been done in the area of framing. And yes. what else? There's some other detailed stuff that we So they have really been moving along quickly. Um, so quite a bit of progress, but we've had a few hiccups. Yeah. So we're going to share those things with you as well. Little in this construction episode. drama. Yes. So right. some drama. <laughs> but um, so, yeah. So tune in. Stay tuned so you can hear all the details. All right. Part two coming to you. Yes. After the intro. Bro. So here we go. I've made it out to Dallas and I'm driving up to the house and I'm pleasantly surprised to say the least. They're actively working and as you see through the windshield there, they have got quite a bit done since the last video. Yes, they have. So um, we've been getting updates. Um, we've mentioned before from our realtor as well as um, family, our cousins. They've been doing a really good job at keeping us up to date on what's going on when we're not out there. However, um, as you can see, that they're on the roof, they're working, they're closing it off, yeah. um, as well as the, let's see what else they're doing. So you see, well, you were out there. Yeah, here, so, so what, what they're doing is they're, they're actually, like she said, putting on the roof. They're also adding dry line, which is the barrier between our brick and the home. So eventually on the outside of that dry line will be the brick that makes up the outer structure. And here um, is just more footage of them. And I, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. These guys were working their tails off and the way that they were working was, was I mean, amazing to me as somebody who's worked, uh, had limited work in construction, but they were, I mean, you can see, these are real time clips of me there. And I got there, it was about uh, a little bit after 2 p.m. Dallas time. Um, and from that point to this point, you can see, and it was probably maybe roughly 30, 45 minutes, this much has been done of the roof. They're pretty much actively working to finish the roof. Um, and you, you'll see shortly how, how it came out, but it was just awesome to see. I mean, you know, the fact that they're working on the roof, getting that done, uh, what else are they doing? They are, they're doing siding at the same time um, and just and knocking it out. And honestly, when I got there, um, like I said, they, they I was trying to stay out the way, but they were actively working. So Yes, so what they were doing was, um, it's interesting, kind of a testament to the teamwork. So someone's at the bottom, or should I say ground level, yes. and they were calling out to the people on the roof and the gentlemen were yelling out measurements. They were up there measuring. And so someone was down at the bottom um, cutting the boards. And so that's how they're able to efficiently move quickly. And move, these, I guess, move efficiently. Right, right. Say. And these are pictures of the finished product. So um, what happened was I stayed there for a moment, I filmed, and then I left. I had to go and um, check into the hotel and I came back with some refreshments for the guys. And um, and when I came back, obviously you can see here in the pictures, the entire roof is done. Now they finished the left side of the home, the siding. Um, and in this picture, you, you can see that the siding on the right side is not done, but they've completed the roof. They completed the outer, um, the outer dry line um, that they were putting up. And so at this point, they were pretty much done wrapping up. So I was able to actually move forward with going into the home. As you can see there, some of them were walking, you know, walking away from the house. And so it, it gave me an opportunity to finally go in the house without disturbing what they were doing. Cause like I said, they were working like a machine. And let me just say, um, shout out to God. Listen, look at the sky. Like on some of the pictures, I told Pierre, I was like, you know, 
you capture some amazing shots, but more than anything, that's highlight like the sunset, the sky, the clouds, like it just really, it just was amazing. Yeah. I was like, wow. I mean, like I said, when we talked about that, I said, well, that was God's timing because when I pulled up is when I pulled up. I had no clue that it was going to be, the sky was going to be like that, as you see in this video here. Those are the guys rolling off telling me thank you. Um, that's why I turned to them uh, for bringing the refreshments in. Um, as you can see in the earlier in the clip, that was that's our garage there. Um, this is the doorway, the, the infamous doorway, right? Yes. <laughs> that we've had conversation about whether it was wide enough, big enough. Um, and looking at it live and in person, I'm, I can attest that it, it's, it's going to be amazing. Um, once we get our doors in there. Um, so this is just a shot of the walkway. I think I'm taking video just so I can show Asia like, hey, this is how the door is looking and this is the width and I, I think you'll be pleased and happy with that. Yes, so I can't wait to see myself live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is me entering the home, right? I think I'm gonna turn this one around and show uh, a clip of the door from the inside. Yes. And so that kind of gives you a perspective. Um, but right off the bat. The first thing we notice <laughs> is that drama number one, we right. have arches. Right. So as he pans the camera around, as you can see, there are arches on the entryways into the room. So what you're looking at now is entering into our dining, our living room and right. then from the living room into the dining room. And you see archways up at the top um and just to kind of give you <laughs> kind of the storyline of the arches when we sat down in our red line meeting um i specifically asked for no arches right. the reason why i didn't want the arches is because i just feel like arches can come off as um, outdated and very traditional and i wanted yeah. to i think i mentioned um in the beginning in some of our beginning episodes, I'm kind of going for more of a modern, contemporary um, look. And yeah. so I felt the archways would not work for that. Right. So as you can see throughout the house, we have arches. Arches, arches everywhere. Arches, arches <laughs> everywhere. And we didn't want that. We didn't ask Plus, for that. Plus, it, no. it shrinks your headroom down. It makes yes. your room look shorter. Yes. And so um, what I had asked for was everything squared off. And here we're at actually drama number two. Yes. <laughs> so what happened was um, before this clip, we were walking into the laundry room. In our laundry room, we optioned for a sink. They were supposed to put a drain for the sink and the water lines for the sink. They didn't do that. And this was their fix. They actually moved into the garage and... Um, and this was a fix that we went back and forth with. I mean, it's cool, it's, you know, we would have preferred it into the home, but because of the foundation being poor, they couldn't put the drain in, so they came up with this as an option, and we were okay with that. Um, that's the laundry room right there, and this is a, a video of under the stairs, so. Yes, so, um, as you see, Pierre's walking through. This is our first floor, so coming off the entrance, um, I like panning ceiling. up <laughs> to our ceiling, um, the height of our ceiling. I think it's 20 as to 30 well. feet, somewhere between 20 and 30 feet, somewhere for sure. Yes, we'll definitely be tall ceilings, which is nice. And um, a glimpse of our stairs. And so what you're looking at here is our family room. Well, I think I'm pointing out the window. So in the, okay. in the previous home, uh, a previous episode where we did a walkthrough on the model, they had three rows of windows. The two, the lower um, height windows, then the two rows of the smaller windows. So I'm just pointing out the fact that um, our windows are not our decent height, you know, compared to what those windows were right there. Yes, and then you also see the framing of our fireplace. Correct. Right there um, as well. And um, again, Pierre is panning. Yeah, I think I was just amazed at the height. I, I, I mean, when you look at it on paper, you can't really, you see the measurements or if you're told the measurements, but when you're actually standing in the structure, then it, it's more apparent. Yes, and then the open area right there off of the family room is the kitchen. So if you take a look, you see our water lines for our island, where yeah. our sink will be. And you see um, just where our kitchen as well as our breakfast nooks will be. Right. 
And that's kind of like, I think I was pointing out there that there, there's this pillar there that we had talked with the builder about having some type of decorative surround. And then I think I'm pointing out that there's another one. <laughs> yes. And so real quickly, so the solution to the arches, um, they're going to fix them. Right. I mean, we contacted them, sent emails, was like, hey, this isn't what we asked for. So everything will be squared off. So the right. next video you see that we'll show you um, on another episode will be um, everything no, no fixed. Arches. Yeah, right. no arches. I mean, and they, they were um, they were pretty reasonable. Their response was like, okay, this, it wasn't no pushback on that. We didn't get any pushback on any of the changes. No, of fact. no, um, not at all. But, you know, it is something that when you're thinking about, okay, this is my dream home, and then you're seeing, like, different things that, um, that, that were discussed that are out of place, you know, you want to address it right away because, you know, you are the project manager for your build, right? You're the one who's going to sign off on these things and make sure that everything is up to your standard. Exactly. And uh, we're in the study at this point right here um, in our study, but up against our room. Oh no, I'm sorry, the powder room. And so also too, I want to also note um, that it's important to make sure that whatever you request, whatever changes you make, to make sure that it is documented on your plans, yes. that it's uh, documented in your change orders with your sales agent, right. you need to make sure that it's in writing. Right. And so for us, there was no pushback because when we had our red line meeting, we made the request and the request was jotted down. Right. So there was just some miscommunication between the builders and the building manager. He didn't get, it, you know, he didn't tell them about no arches. So if we had not had that in writing, perhaps it might be a different story. Right. So again, make sure you have every change, every request in writing. And if you can, ask for an email of what, you know, maybe if you need it, you know, just as much coverage as possible for you because this is your home and you want to have, you want to be covered when it comes down to have a communications about mistakes being made, you know. Um, yes. They're building fairly quickly. I mean, this is... Um, from start to this point is only um, just shy of two months. And I, I'm pointing out here, this is the, the other thing that the we The third had. drama, yes. Right. So obviously you're seeing a picture here of an X. That was some windows that was placed in off the left side of our room on the entrance wall where we will I've, um, actually have our TV. So to have a short wall like that, it just wouldn't have flowed right with the room. And here is the remedy. Yes. So we have requested no windows on that wall. So as you can see in this picture, the windows have been removed and they're beginning to close off that wall. And right. this is the result. Right. So the wall is closed off where the windows once were. Yeah. And so when... In the beginning, when we were looking at the layout of our room, we knew about the bay windows. The option was to get a door there. We optioned to not have the door. And we automatically assumed, I guess, or just like any other thing, when we talked, it was supposed to be a wall from our understanding, straight back. They put windows there. Maybe that's a default, um, but they, they were able to um, fix it. And we caught it in time. This is another reason why you want to survey your home bill. You don't just want to just leave it up to them because, you know, when you walk through, it's going to look way different than it looked on your plans. This is our bathroom, and um, we're going to um, go over that in detail in another video because we got some changes that we're going to make in there. So, um, yes. Now we're moving now. Um, okay, this right here. Oh, so guys are bringing water lines. So as we, as I am walking through, they are setting up to run our plumbing. Now, like I said, this is roughly two months of work from start to finish, meaning from the day they poured the foundation until this day. Um, and we're already, they're already putting in water lines and, um, and things of that nature. Electrical. Yeah. yeah. So, so things are moving quicker than even, the first time on it they told us was six to eight months. Um, now, we're talking about two months of build time here, and they've, we've got a whole home structure. Yes. And so, I mean, and keep in mind, they really don't give you an exact date right. because right. of the times that we are currently in with supply issues, labor issues, um, 
COVID, you know, if someone catches COVID, it, you know, kind of messes things up on the side if there's a COVID breakout. So there's a lot of factors that um, prevent them from being able to give us a timeline of exactly how long it will take. Yeah. But to our surprise, they are, again, moving very quickly. Right. And this, the, the actual room that we're in now, that I'm in now, is the media room which is, was a surprise because it was significantly larger than I thought it would be. Um, and I believe ages, you know. You, yeah, no, I agree. I wasn't that. anticipated for it to be. I mean, I knew we would have a decent size right. media room, but I wasn't anticipating for it and to be the game that room. large. But I'm not complaining. Right. I mean, no way. we have some plans. The game room um, is what Pierre's walking through right now. Which, which is a, yeah, which is a nice well. size, um, and it'll work for some plans that we have for that room, both rooms. Right. This is room number. What is this number five on the plan? So this maybe is, yeah. I this guess is the office five, room. The that, office um, room, or should I say, my lady lounge? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is. I will <laughs> finally get my own space. Right in the vault, right there, <laughs> for all her precious lady items. <laughs> so yes, so this is my area. This is my personal space, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just. I think I'm just showing there that um, taking video and documenting that they did actually extend the closet like we asked, and um, so that was that was good to see that um, that we didn't have to go back to the drawing board on that. Walking around, we're now going to the room that we have designated as our guest space. Um, that will be a bathroom right there. Yes. Yeah. See there. That, I mean, obviously at this point, we don't have all the plumbing and all the fixtures in, but it was good to see this, right? Yeah, I'm pointing out the closet right there that they did extend it. Um, it was good to see this amount of progress this quick. I mean, you know, we, we've gone over timelines in our head Will it be this month? Will it be April? Will it be June? Will it, I mean, you know, we've been back and forth. And to finally see something that can help us with a timeline was refreshing. You know, because obviously, um, because of issues with um, materials, they can't give us a, um, a definite date. Yes. So, um, and now this is kind of the overlook um, from upstairs on the second floor down to the front door. Yeah. And I'm trying to give her, uh, I'm trying to sh get video to kind of show her and help her maybe scale it at this point, like to see how it will look. Um, and then I think I was also pointing out there that we will have a nice shade right there. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am um, excited about that. This is another room, one of the rooms that um, will be a part of the Jack and Jill. Yes. Um, so we're just showing it, showing this part of the structure, and um, so we mentioned in previous um, episodes that so we have two kids for those who don't know, right. and each child will have their individual space. So they'll have um, coming off of their bedroom their sink their own sink their own sink and vanity and then the middle will be more or less the happy medium the meat where both kind of meet would be toilet the and toilet and you shower, know, shower tub. tub combo and then um going into the other room off that room again will be a sink and vanity so each child will have their own space, which is nice. Right. And also that closet in that room was the closet that we moved the door um, to the interior side of the room and, instead of being in front of the sink. Yeah. Um, so as you see, I mean, looking at each room, it's a pretty nice. Um, I'm big on um, natural light. Yeah. So, so it's good to windows. see. Yeah. It's good to see that we have large windows and the natural light that's coming into the room. So I'm happy yeah. about that. Yeah, like right there, that's a nice size window. Oh, very nice. Um, yes. So yeah, I think at this point, I've walked through the whole house, right? And I'm excited, of course, to be able to bring this footage to Asia to show her and then to share with you all, of course. Um, so as I'm wrapping it up, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I'm going to come back maybe tomorrow, see if they're working, see what's going on, you know, just kind of catch some more footage if I can, just of the building process. 
and then um, you know I leave out and this happens the next day yeah <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you can see and this is a clip this clip is infamous now because I've, I've used it in several shorts if you follow on the channel um, but here we go it's raining yes so all of our the fact that our roof is up is something that I'm happy about but well, I, not necessarily the shingles. Right. The shingles aren't up yet. No. But no at least they have the boards up. So right. um, there is some protection from the elements outside. Right. So now I've got I've gotten out the car, got my boots on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm walking through and I'm just kind of curious, like to see how our house is holding up under the rain. And you can see, I'm like, oh man. So I, I'm calling Asia at this point. Like, oh, it's getting wet, it's getting wet, it's raining in the inside and everything. So it's like, oh man, you know, how is this gonna affect our house? How is this gonna affect our house? But after talking to, um, after doing research and talking to our realtor and actually um, actually asking, um, getting some opinions about the weather and how it affects, this is normal. This is something that happens throughout the building process to homes. As long as they let it dry adequately, which they are doing, uh, which they had done um, and aren't installing anything like sheetrock or anything. We won't have to worry about mold or mildew. And they usually bring in fans and different yes. things like that. So here we go again. Now we are looking at the house with shingles. Yes. So we don't have to worry about rain. No. <laughs> and we're also looking at the house with windows. Yes. So we don't have to worry about the rain. Correct. Now there still may be rain that can get through because the doors aren't in yet. And they're the keeping the windows up open. as yes. well. Too, and to they're keep keeping the, the windows up. Exactly. And so what you're also looking at is our siding on the side of the house. And then a glimpse of the front of the house with windows. Yeah. It's just to show this is where we are currently. Um, windows in. Um, and we're also, um, they have like mock-up doors on and different things like that. All of the siding is pretty much done. The um, dry line is all pretty much done. And this here is a flow chart. Yes, so typically with builders, they will provide you with um, a flow chart of kind of the process, the home build process. So this is ours. Every builder's the same. Our particular builder, there's a 15 stages. And so we are at stage five now. And so with stage five, um, as you can see, that includes what you saw, the um, roof, as well as the dry line, framing, and so on. All right, so there you have it. Yes. Part two, framing, done. Um, Exciting. Yeah, we got a lot of work, um, well, they got a lot of work completed on our home. So it's just refreshing to see that the process is rolling, it's moving along, and sooner than later, we'll be doing the keys part. Yes, <laughs> right? we'll be doing the empty house tour which we're excited to share right with right you now of course we got a lot more to go right yes. they got to do finishings and all that stuff flooring and all that our stuff. brick is not there yet right. so they, they have to brick. brick everything right 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 so we're we're hoping for uh, a drama free finale um yes. we're praying for a drama free finale but you know this is the building process so you never know um so stay tuned we're going to keep on bringing you access to our experience on this home building journey. Yes, right. so don't forget to like, share, share comment, turn on those notifications. And subscribe you don't want if you to like miss this content. Anything. Yes, right. and subscribe. Right. Share with your family and friends, okay? And then also too, we will be having some exciting news to announce, okay? okay. So yeah. we um, are thinking about doing a giveaway. Right. It's the holiday season coming up, so we want to make it fun. So right. definitely want to tune in for that. Yep, yep, so until then, See you later. Bye-bye.